we want to learn how to calculate the pH of a solution. Now actually setting these problems up for students is very easy. When it comes to your calculator, that's when everything seems to just go crazy. So I'm going to actually show you how to set up each one and then we're actually going to do it physically on a calculator to show you how to enter it. So we know that the pH formula says that the pH equals the negative log of the hydronium concentration. So what does that mean? Well that means that whenever I see that hydronium I'm going to replace it with whatever it told me in the problem. So for this one it's 2.4 times 10 to the minus 10. Okay so you've got that. You do that on a test you get partial credit. I got a problem. I got to figure out how to put it in my handy dandy little calculator. So when you put it in the calculator, you're going to put what's inside of those brackets first. So you're going to do 2.4. Now it says times 10. Remember that's going to be your EXP or your EE key. On mine it's an EXP. So I'm going to push EXP and then I'm going to put in minus 10. Now it says you want to take the log of that. So you push log and then you're going to take the opposite of that number. Now you're always going to have two digits after the decimal with log. So the final answer here is going to be 9.62. So that's your pH for the first one. Now we want to set up the second one. So you're just going to have the pH equals the negative log of 9.2 times 10 to the minus 13th. And now I need to put that in my calculator. So I'm going to come back over here clear out what I had. I'm going to take 9.2 EXP or EE and then I'm going to put 13 with a minus. Now I'm going to push the LOG button. I'm going to push my minus button and so my answer for this one is 12.04. So hopefully actually seeing it worked out on the calculator is helping you to know how to write these. So I have these last two equations. I want you to try them on your own come back and check your answers. So when you looked at C and D you should have noticed that these were no longer a hydronium concentration but rather an OH concentration. So when you actually calculate the negative log of the concentration you're getting an OH value. So if you got the 2.02 .02 and you were done that's just because I kind of tricked you and I'm really sorry about that. But you actually need to subtract it from 14 to find the actual pH value. So D is done exactly the same. A little bit of trickery but it's mainly to make sure you're paying attention.